the initiative taken by government of karnataka and dc department of college and education uh, this is quite new to new people students and to us also so this is a new system we will get along with this and we will get used to it in coming days today i am going to discuss about the first year basic topic in second semester uh, the velocity of transfer waves on a stretch stream so this is the almost last topic we are going to discuss so we'll uh, start uh, before deriving the expression for velocity of transfer waves on a stretch stream we'll recollect some of the things which we make use when do uh, when deriving this expression so we basically we know differential form of wave equation which is d squared y by dx square on over v square d squared y by dt square so here we know y is displacement x is distance t is time v is velocity of the wave so this is the most general equation differential form equation so this holds good for longitudinal waves as well as transfer waves for one dimensional two dimensional and three dimensional waves also and next equation is v is equal to f lambda where v is velocity of the wave f is frequency of the wave lambda is wavelength of the wave and one more equation we are quite familiar so this is a dynamic identity sin of a plus or minus v is equal to sin a into cos b plus or minus cos a into sin b now let us consider a stretch stream a b let t be the tension on this stream that is the force on the stream so let us consider a very small section of the stream stretch stream when the stream is plugged at the middle the, the disturbance sets of the transfer waves along the length of the stream they travel along the length of the stream now we consider a small portion pq of length delta x on the string now tension at p so this acts along the length of the string at this particular point it is tangential to string even at point q it is tangential to string at p let t be the tension let t make an angle theta with respect to horizontal so this tension at p can be resolved into two components that is vertical component and horizontal component so this is theta angle with respect to work horizontal if this is theta this is also theta we know now we are going to resolve this into components so t is acting in this direction so this is theta now the horizontal component is t cos theta vertical component is t sin theta similarly tension at q point q so this makes an angle theta minus delta theta with respect to horizontal so this theta is greater than theta minus delta now we will resolve tension at q into two components tension at q is exactly the line direction so here tension at q so this is theta minus delta theta therefore horizontal component is t cos of theta minus delta theta vertical component t sin theta now the net force acting on the section pq along horizontal and along vertical will result we have resolved this and we will find out the net force the net force acting along on pq along horizontal along horizontal we have t cos theta and again along horizontal we have t cos theta minus delta theta so the difference is t cos theta plus t cos cos of theta minus delta theta since theta delta theta is very small this is a almost theta minus delta theta is equal to theta therefore we can write this as t cos theta minus t cos of theta itself so this turns out to be zero and the force along horizontal directions they cancel out the net force acting along vertical direction that is in vertical direction at p this is t sin theta and at q this is t sin of theta minus delta theta so net force acting along vertical is t sin theta minus t sin of theta minus delta theta so we we'll expand this term using this trigonometric identity sin of theta minus delta theta so here t sin theta minus t 
sin theta into cos theta minus t cos theta into sin delta theta. So we multiply this with t. We have t sin theta, t sin theta into cos delta theta minus into minus plus t cos theta into sin delta theta. So since theta is very small, we have one more approximation. If delta theta is very small, cos of delta theta we can therefore appro approximate it to one. And sine of delta theta is approximately equal to sine of delta theta. Therefore, this equation gets altered. So we have x is equal to now this is t sine theta minus t sine theta into cos of delta theta can be written as one plus t cos theta sine delta theta can be written as delta theta. Now, t sin theta, t sin theta cancels. So, when does this? t cos theta into delta theta. And this can be written as sin theta into cos theta into delta theta. This can be written as delta sin theta. If you differentiate this sin theta, we get this term. So, this can be written. And we know that sin theta, theta is very small, this can be approximated to tan theta and tan theta is nothing but slope so which we can write it as dy by dx therefore f is equal to I can write it as t into delta dy by dx so we will make use of mathematical approximation this can be written as t into del of del x over dy by dx into delta x. Otherwise, I can write this as f is equal to t into d squared over dx squared into delta x. So, let this be the equation 1. So, we have net force acting on the section P is f is equal to t into d squared by over dx squared into delta x. Now we consider <coughs> the small portion of the we consider the mass. Let m be mass per unit length be stretch its strength. Strength AB, let its mass per unit length be m. Now mass of the section PQ, which is of length delta x. So mass of the section PQ is mass per unit length into length. So this is m into delta x. Now I want to find out acceleration of section PQ. Acceleration is d squared by over dt squared. We know acceleration of PQ is d squared by over dt squared. I can write this. So the net force acting on PQ will make use of this formula. Force is mass into acceleration. So I have mass m into delta x acceleration d squared by over dt squared. So net force is m into delta x d squared by over dt squared. So f is equal to have this relation. So let this be equation 2. Now just check this equation 1 and 2. Both are force acting on the section P2. We can equal these two. So therefore from 1 and 2 we have t into del square uh, d square by over del, del dx square into delta x is equal to m into d square by over dt square into delta x. So delta x, delta x cancels. So I will end up with t into del, uh, delta square by over d square dx square is equal to m into d squared over dt square. So finally we have this expression. So comparing this equation with standard equation of wave, differential form of the wave equation. So we have this. Comparing these two, this we can equate 1 over v square is equal to m over t. Or this implies v square is equal to t over m. Or velocity of the stretch strain. Um, stretch strain this is equal to square root of t over m so this is the expression we have to do.